not finding this. So I could be just wrong with the, the confusion of the name, but uh, let me go back, A-Y-R-O. Well, during this time is like a time where people start slowing down, oh, Lord, not people, the market. It starts being becoming more bearish. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So this market is uh, definitely a bearish market now. Um, and the only and the only reason why is they say that, you know, because people are typically going on vacation during this time. Mm -hmm. So when they're going on vacation during this time, it makes it, you know, there's less liquidity in the market. Right. So the some stuff will just not move. So what I've been realizing with a lot of you know, the strategy in itself of what I've been doing um, when a stock like runs up or is just like above the 200 SMA is seeing how far it is uh, overbought and looking for some uh, put calls. Uh, and that's what I've been doing. I've been looking for puts. Um, I haven't done any puts. I'm not sure how to do it, but I've been listening to the woman that um, that you told me, Crystal, she yeah. has a video that she explains, and the other woman that I sent you. Yes. Um, yeah, so those, those were those are helpful. Yeah, it's been helpful. Um, I just haven't pulled a trigger. <laughs> you necessarily have to. And I think that's that's part of the game is just sometimes you just have to watch the market mm -hmm. and understand like you know just you know get a sense of how the market is moving and where your placement is in all of it you know um sometimes just take notes like this past week like I said I didn't really trade at all it was more of this education because I knew that the market was going to continue to decline um because everything is overvalued everything mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. when, when you have so many things that are overvalued it's going to be harder to really like find a direction in the market um because you know yeah it could go up higher but the value is too much and inflation, yeah. stuff like that doesn't make it any better i read an article today about inflation um on yahoo finance that um, nope. they're really they're really concerned the last three years everything's been going up and up and up and it hasn't been like this since the 80s I'm like great <laughs> yeah like the Dow has been going up 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 but last year which is what we needed we needed that pullback below mm -hmm. the 200 SMA which it did do so that's a that's a big key indicator like okay yeah it went below the 200 SMA all time, but it did pull back. I mean, it did retrace uh, to come back up and it's retesting its all time highs again. Oh, there's something that flew on my nose. Oh, <laughs> yeah. so, are you okay? Um, yeah, I'm fine. It's just uh, like, I wanna sneeze, but I'm like, it's not letting me at the same time too. Oh. So like, even with um, these retailers, we see that mm -hmm. these retailers are like overbought in some way, shape or form, not overbought, uh, but they're, they're pretty expensive. Um, like like, Macy's, I wonder if Macy's. Yeah, is. see, exactly. You just read my mind. Like Macy's, <laughs> like this, it's a little over expensive, it's a little overbought, not overbought. I think it's just expensive. And then uh, go to the actual chart itself. Um, Macy's at $18. It's um, it's been doing, you know, before I remember when it was down here around the four dollar area and I didn't really believe in the company. I should have since they do uh, so much during like the holiday season. Um, but now it's like trying to get up to uh, its previous highs around the twenty dollar area. That's where it was in mid-March. So um, this is one that I'm like, OK, if um, if there's retailers out there, Macy should be a part of that group. And then if we compare that to Guess, we can see how Guess has been just like kind of just choppy along this way. Mm. And this is where things kind of get difficult 
when it's coming up on the upside, right? Because even though it crosses above the 200 SMA, we really never know when the pullback is going to be. So oftentimes what I've been looking for is like some curvature once it makes like um, a candlestick like this, where it's really full. And You're talking about Macy's or, or Guess? Well, this is Guess. I'm going to go back to Macy's. Okay. But um, oh, I see now. Okay. When I see a candlestick like this, I'm like, okay, it's going to like, it's, it's flattening out. And this is essentially like really more resistance right here. Um, when you have that type of resistance, then the next day it's probably going to pull back, especially if it's overbought. It was overbought here. But even if we look over here on the 8th of March, it was kind of the same thing where the candlestick was full and it kind of flattened out the next two days before pulling back. And it wasn't even overbought during that time. Um, and then the same thing, well, not really. Um, it wasn't overbought here, but it did change momentum here. Um, so, and right here. So that's, mm -hmm. possible. you know, when we have these type of candlesticks, I like the indecision one. The in, where, where'd you go? <laughs> I zoomed in too, too close. Oh, okay, this was, this was it, sorry. Um, I like these indecision candlesticks after we have a reversal candlestick like this. Mm -hmm. Because this hammerhead usually tells us that it's a reversal that, you know, whatever downside pressure that was happening, we're getting a reverse. And the next day it held that green above it, above the previous uh, reversal candle. Mm -hmm. But now when we have this indecision candlestick where it's really green, but it's kind of flat, like the wick kind of goes down and the wick kind of goes up, but you have this middle body area. When you have that, um, this could potentially, and we see all the indicators line up with it, shows us that it, it continues to have some more upside because we're buying the wick area, right? We're buying the wick area of the indecision candlestick. That's what happened here on this green candlestick. Um, and then the momentum continued to go higher after that, but it looked like it did the same like blunted candlestick Right, did that whole blunted. Once it's done, it's blunted. You know, typically it could pull back, but it didn't because it still had momentum to it. But um, it did pull back the next day when it was releasing dividends, okay. um, even though there was still upside. So that's why I say it's kind of um, nice. sometimes it's kind of hard to determine if it has reached its max because, like tomorrow, I don't think guess is going to go higher. I think it's going to test, you know, that $30 area, but it might do what like it did over here where it blunted. I see. It blunted here, then pulled back and then pulled back, pulled back, right? That blunt right there. And then this blunt right here, it kind of just traded sideways because it was like it had no more overhead to go. And even when it did try to go, it got pushed down overhead so there's a lot of overhead resistance at this $30 area um, maybe it breaks but once this cross happens on the MACD then mm -hmm. it can go higher because the cross has happened on the moving averages so mm -hmm. um, so with Macy's like you mentioned we kind of have the same okay. type of MACD here where the MACD didn't cross but there was a strong enough volume and percentage that was happening yeah. here. Where'd you go? <laughs> um, I'm trying to. No, no you're all right. Um, like, do your thing. Do your thing. So uh, this whole green candlestick is um, pretty strong. Put the wick closed because it's. What happened? Hey, oh, hold on. I hear you now. Did you oh. hear me or not? No, you're fuzzing in and out. No. Are you fuzzing in and out? I don't. I don't live up. Okay. I don't live. <laughs> Estoy aquí. <laughs> okay, can you hear me now? <laughs> can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Oh, man. My phone is like, a, you know, 
it, I was trying to connect it to the Wi-Fi and it wasn't connected. So my apologies. Mm. You all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. So. So there's the same thing with Macy's. If you see those like blunted candlesticks and it did it happen. It happened more, like, okay, if you look at, let's start with the first, the blunted candlestick, where the wick is not as long, but you still have that green candlestick there, right? Um, you get some resistance here and it pulled back, right? Um, mm -hmm. That was an in, it's like indecision candle on the red. Next day, you just had to wait and see if it actually turns green, then maybe you buy on that day. But once we have this like strong blunted candlestick, um, there's a reversal ahead. And that's where it went overbought before pulling back. But sometimes we have to take it into consideration like how it looks, because this is a breakout that happened here. And, um, In January? This, yeah, January 12th. Yeah, January 12th. Uh, that was a breakout that happened where this green candlestick, this green candlestick engulfs this red, and this red candlestick, which is also right here with this green candlestick. So sometimes, this is what I'm saying with the with the scanner that I use. Sometimes when we have these strong green candlestick days, the next yeah. day might be a pullback. And we pull back, retrace. Right, retrace. And if we if it does that, particularly holding above the five EMA price, then you know the next day could be a green day. But having, um, like for instance, what I'll do, what I typically do is like, okay, all these stocks like spike. The one that I highlighted, they spike or have some type of, you know, some type of setup that looks like it's worthy to possibly buy during the week. But what happens is what I'll do is I'll go to the bottom part, the ones that went red, Right, I'm like, okay, which stocks that actually hit my criteria before went red and did some type of retracement so that I can get in because that strong green candlestick kind of just gives you that idea that, hey, um, this is worthy to buy. Mm -hmm. Right, this is worthy to buy, you know, because we're making some type of movement, we're, we're collecting energy. Um, so if we go a little bit further, we see the, uh, it made all the moves. And then once it went overboard, it pulled back, um, mm -hmm. held this green candlestick was like, Hey, here I am, I'm bouncing. Um, then this candlestick happened. So with, between this blended candlestick, which is the first green day, and then this one, right. It could have, you know, what had probably happened is that there was a lot of buying here. And it ran up and then pulled back and then kind of just held this base here. That's why you have this longer wick here because everyone that was in here were either buyers or sellers. There was more buyers on this day than sellers. So that's why the, the candlestick held. Then this day, there was an engulfing of where that, uh, where that wick happened. So this engulfing helped this uh, this gap, help this gap. And more than likely this probably gap in the morning and then pulled back throughout the whole day. And then this is what happened the previous days, um, not the previous day, but the following days, because it was also overbought when it did gap up. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. I'm actually, I'm excited because like my, Chart kind of looks like yours. <laughs> I'm doing something oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know it sounds weird, but I'm still learning, obviously. So it looks like um, the think or swim. I was like working on it all, all week and trying to figure out how to like navigate it. And I'm just excited that it looks like kind of like yours. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be surprised because I've, I've given you almost everything that I do. <laughs> I've given you so like yeah if it looks like mine you mm -hmm. know, the biggest thing is I want I want to make sure that you're able to see what 
um, to see the movements, to see that it can go in your direction with a, with a decent plan, right? Because knowing that what these candlesticks do kind of gives us the idea that, hey, you know, we can get some type of upside or downside based on mm -hmm. looking on the candlesticks and then using the news to reinforce whatever decision that we have. Um, but it's these blunt candlesticks. Once they engulf the previous red days, then uh -huh. like, we want to we we anticipate that the next day will be green. So that's kind of not what happened here. That's not what happened here. Right? I was gonna ask that, like, you know, like this, this could have been because of news on the twenty fifth. On the twenty fifth of, of January. January. Yes, on the 25th of January, um, I would think there, there would be a retracement on the 26th, but if there wasn't. No, not at all. And like I said, this could have been because of news on the 27th. So mm -hmm. like, let me see, see what, if there was anything, so, like, this think or swim doesn't go back that far. Let me go to Finviz and see what it says on Finviz. Sure. Uh, um, on Fitting Viz, it says that on January, well, you don't go back that far either. Boo. Boo. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't go back that far on the news itself. So um, right now, because I don't want to just hover over only, which well, probably should because it is you know, earnings um, on Tuesday. Let's see what they do in the previous earnings. They beat earnings. They beat earnings really, really well. Um, uh, and it, but it still took some days for it to actualize that upside. They beat it mm -hmm. by like 62 cents, 61 cents. So um, after the earnings was released, it actually went up another two, four dollars. Mm -hmm. The next um, day? Huh? No, not the next day at all. It okay. took some days for it to go. Um, so that's what I'm saying with this one now, like it could do well just because it's right before earnings. Um, and then earnings, the way that retail has been going, you know, people have been really liking retail, so it could go up higher. But um, I'm, I'm more curious now on how these blunted candlesticks behave, um, especially since Macy's is a more, it's a higher, higher float stock. Because <clears throat> oh. it has a higher float. It's kind of like, okay, well, is it can't can't really treat it the same way as the low float. You know. Tell me why. I mean, I I don't um, remember why. It's kind of like Apple. Yeah. Right. So Apple does fluctu fluctuations all day, but doesn't really go anywhere. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so that kind of like Coca Cola. Mm hmm. Like Coca Cola. <laughs> yes. Or like Coca Cola, K O. <laughs> right. Um, even though it has been making some movements, but typically mm -hmm. what is moving, like, you know, long term chart has been making some movements, right? Since, it, since February it had a nice turnaround um and it's it went from what forty dollars forty nine dollars to now fifty four dollars so that's really only a five dollar move right <laughs> so that you've seen this is this was a span of three months but yeah it's a span of three months so it's not like the same as a lower float where in the past three months you'll have like playboy that's yeah. done some major shit, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, you like this, this tends to move pretty, pretty well. So that's why, you know, we, we can't really treat it the same, same way, but um, as a lower flow comparison, uh, higher flows to yeah. lower flows. But, you know, you, you, huh? Okay. <laughs> How you doing, Fritz? I'm good, I'm good. 
Oh yeah, it's good to see you. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> How was your week? How was the about you? How was the week? The week was good. I didn't really trade last uh, last week. Um, really? Was balancing a whole bunch of other stuff, I was balancing yoga and inspection restaurants that I didn't even get the chance to like really trade like I, I hope. But how about yourself? Yeah, the first three days was bad, but Friday was good. Yeah. <laughs> Friday was really good. I just invested in crypto, Ethereum. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, you're looking. Let me show you something. I don't know if you can see. You can see me from me from the camera, right? I I can't can see, see you. No, I can't see you. No. I'm gonna but turn can, off mine. I can see camera. You. Oh, you can see me, us. Yeah, I can well, see. Can, I can't see you though. Yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. You have okay. your okay. camera hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me cam turn the camera on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you see me now? Oh, I need some. Maybe I need some lighting. <laughs> no, <laughs> Can, you Can you see me? No. Not at all. <laughs> all right. Turn on the light for me, then. Turn on the light over here. It, it could be on the app itself, on the on the Zoom app, where it says video. Yeah. At the hold on, hold on. Let me look. Okay, okay. You see me now? Yes. Oh, okay. We can see you now. <laughs> Hello. All right. So, hi. Can you see my screen? Can you see the screen? Kind I'm of. holding the camera to face. face. Can you see it if I push it closer? A little, yeah. yeah. Yes, you can, can you identify the name there? AMD. Okay. So, both of you are looking, right? Yeah. Look right here. You can you see this number I'm pointing at right here? 1.71 million. Million. Okay. So they bought that um expecting AMD. Oh, this they, was before the close. This was yeah, before the right close. Yeah, right before the close. 345. 345. You see it? Yeah. So we am pointing one pointing right there. So somebody bought 1.71 million expecting oh, wow. for the, at the 80 strike put for AMD but, for this yeah. date. The fifth month, 21 day, 2021. Next week. Yeah. I don't know why they must, for somebody to spend so much money right here. Is it? AMD puts for the, the was an eighty dollar put. Yeah. Wow. Um. Well, yeah. What is going on for May twenty first? For May twenty first. Oh. So let us go put over to this screen. Sorry. No. I don't now, know why. I'm on the option chain for uh, AMD. Me too. You said it's put for $80. Yeah. yeah. You saw it there? You saw it? Yeah, it's, it's deep in the money. That's yeah. for sure. Uh, uh, that's crazy. I, I don't know how I would have been able to see how much money they, that's the open interest? No, the that's the, the open interest? No, no. Um, that's you remember the black the black box platform that I told you about. Yeah. Oh. That's where I see all of these things. Oh, you're oh mm -hmm. you're on black box. Yeah, and that I told that it shows you where the big money is spending. And for, gotcha. believe me, last about two weeks last two weeks ago they show you Zoom. Somebody buy the as what well, Zoom was what over two hundred dollars. Somebody buy the same about uh, over a million expecting Zoom to come down, and it came down about twenty dollars. Oh wow! And the same thing they did with Western Digital since week I was in it. In it, Western Digital WDC. 
and you see it went up over five hundred dollars on Friday. <laughs> oh, what does the chart look like first? Uh, WDC. Yeah. Oh wow. So yeah, it did go up on Friday, Western Digital, and it still looks like it wants to break out too. Right. So, so mm -hmm. a lot of a lot a lot of money pouring in. Let, let me look on it and see what it says here. WDC. I don't know how far. There's a lot, there's still that resistance at $72 on WDC. Yeah. It's kind of like AMC. AMC does not want to break $14.50. Yeah. Oh. I called, mm -hmm. I, an alert came in on um, AMC in the week when it was, um when it went up like 45 it was about 45 cents and a triple. I didn't yeah, get it, it was a triple. The yeah, someone in up. the group, someone, uh, a woman in the group bought AMC calls during the week. Yeah. Yeah. So a the put. Reason I thought I'm, it was a call. I thought it was a put. She bought a cut. She bought a call, a put after selling the call. Okay. Ooh. So when it went overbought, she she ended up buying the she put. She switched. So oh, that, she that person's so, yeah. getting that person's getting smart. <laughs> exactly. exactly. All right. So, so I, I don't know if you can see a little clearer now. You can you see can you see it again right here? You have to go in closer. Closer. Okay. Can you see it right there now? Kinda. Yeah. Close Apple. Enough. Okay. So so even Baba. Baba, let me look for Baba. Okay, Baba. Look at this one. They, right went, here. they came down look pretty bad right this whole week. Did somebody buy 1.2 million six, 1.26 million? Right here, you can see it. Yeah. So but let me go across right here. For the 210 put. But they buy it for January. See it right here? In January of 2022. 20, yeah. For Baba? For Baba. And you said what call was the, uh was that a put? Yes, and it was trading at um they bought it when it was trading at 208.66. You can see it there. And hold on, what what strike price? They bought it at um two oh eight point six six, and um, the strike price that they bought it at is two ten. About the two ten. Wow. Can you see yeah, it now? Two ten, yeah. There's, there's a lot of volume there, and you know twenty five percent of the volume is uh twenty five percent of the open interest is the volume. Right. Yeah, so there's a there's a lot going on that people are 25. Wow, the option contract is $25. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just showing you, I'm just showing you this is because what I realized I, I got it for about three weeks now. And when I see those million dollar come in, I, I take note of it. And I and I and I realize that they work because somebody would not be spending a million dollar unless they know they are sure about something. True. And, and at the cost, you get what I mean? True. Yeah, so true, I'm, I'm just giving you, an, uh, just, just adding that little bit there. No, and when I read the reviews on Black Box, it seemed very valuable. Yeah. Uh, that part I, I, I'm familiar with, so um, I have to pry myself away from Thinkorswim to use it. <laughs> no, that, that you can't you can't trade on it. I think you have to unless maybe like you have a trade station account, you can trade from there. Uh, you can just this it, right here where it says account. It was telling you right where it say account right there. Yeah. Yeah, you just click on account and then I think it lead you to where you want to go plus whatever. So you say is it trade I, station only that it uses or uh, does it use other brokerages? I don't know. Let me let me click on my setting. I don't know if they have. Is there anything else? Because some okay. of those they sync, you know, your brokerage account to that, you know, um, information platform. 
Okay. Because Angie, okay. that's what black box is. It's like a huge um, cycle of information. Like uh, yeah. that processes a whole lot faster um, than what we get with think or swim. Yeah. So um, as, as the option coming, as so go ahead. So so right now you're currently trading on uh, black box no, as well. No, I use this to get information. Yeah, so it show me all of these. It show me right here when the big money is spending, right? The value right here. You can see it clearly. Right here. So it mm -hmm. show me all the stuff that are coming in right here and the amount of money that is spending in them either to buy a call. It doesn't strictly option. Right there. Got so it. if you see somebody, why would somebody be spending a certain amount of money for no purposes? Right. You know what I mean? So that, that yeah. is where I look mm -hmm. from. And you look on this side, now we show you we show you the time. So most of these came in, as you can see, upper came in right at 5.59. So somebody is trying to slip in right before the time, before it closed in the night. I mean, 3.59. So if I so click on like... The big money. Click, yes, if I click on upper like this, it show you just upper. So you, you can, you can mm -hmm. observe, it show you upper all the way down. And you can just come over here and see you see the, the time so look at the time here they, they wait until they wait until all of these call came in all of these money came in you see the time 341 341 343 coming right up mm -hmm. so this mm -hmm. is when the big guys pouring all their money right up the line till almost right at the market close right there Man, that's on a Friday too, where they like yeah. really put all their money. Yeah, and, and see right in this section here, right in this section here with where all the white is, just call. So the numbers right there. 30, yeah. 130 call, 130 mm -hmm. call, 165 call. Somebody yeah. put in one 76,000, 76,000 for the six months, the 17th. The six month, one the one sixty five call. Six months. See, this is this is a good platform to use. Yeah, so you so, can write you can write those 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 down and decide whether or not you want to get into it if you want to get in early. Because look at this one. This is this is, Well, this I want to look more on the the earnings ones, the ones that are coming out with earnings, like Macy's. Macy's is coming out with earnings this week, so that we could keep it like uh. What I what's it? What's the um ticker? The, tick, the ticker is uh, M for Macy's. Okay, I don't know if they have it. Let me let me see if any. Okay, so Macy's there. So okay. how's the um how's the I guess the big money? How are they moving on this? <laughs> when 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 is when is the earnings? On Tuesday. And what price is trading at? Uh, one second. Ooh. Right now, it is trading at eighteen dollars. Okay, so see, 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 you have two here. See, you have these two here. Look right here. See the date? Yeah. It came in right. This one came in right at three fifty nine. So they have up, um the five month, um the twenty first. So they put the yeah, put there. March. They bought the strike. The sixteen dollar. The sixteen dollar put. Only about sixteen dollar. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and and the seventeen dollar put right here. So let us see how much they spend. See over here they spend how many? How many? Twenty six thousand, twenty four thousand. So and any in the millions? Do you see any in the millions in no, the last? I don't see. I don't see. Any, in, I don't see. The only one I see for this week in the millions is Baba and um, maybe Tesla. Tesla too. What Baba. about yes? G E S. They come now with earnings. Uh, or did they come out with earnings? Hold on. No, they're, they're not coming out with earnings. I, I misspoke. Um, GES. Uh, okay, I don't see any information for them. Or Home Depot. HD. Uh, HD. All right. So, see this one? Somebody bought the 315 call for next week. 315 call right here. 
Um, it's written at 323. Uh, but oh, is that your finger over? Yes, your finger over uh, this. Okay, screen. my finger is over. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm, like, 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 look, I'm looking at his fingerprint. It's all these ugly fingers, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so see, see, see what they buy there. Or let us look at the, the see what the, you see the strike right there that they're buying. Yeah, they buy 30, the 30 call, the 35 call, the 30 call, 325, 310, whatever. And over here, this is where the money spent over here. So they, they so it wasn't a whole lot of money being used. Yeah, they have the um, 114. 114,000 for the 315 call. No. Um, and, um, what about Walmart, WMT? I think that they could do something. Um, Walmart? Just, yeah, just because they're trending the 200 SMA price. Oh, so it's trading, it's trading at, um, 139, right? 139.66. So right, yeah. right at 342, somebody 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 spent 37,000. 37,000 call for the 2160. For which month is that? Because your camera is um, so. Oh, that's nine months. That's the nine months. But nine so somebody, months in September? Yeah, but see somebody trade. Um, look at this one right here. Just look at this tool right here. You see it? No, okay. your camera's off. Really? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, I, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on here, man? I'm sorry. No, no worries. I don't know. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. All right. You see it now? It's back on. Yes, I can see it yeah, now. I think my fingers was the one that was working it. So you, you don't have to hide it. So <laughs> okay, let me put that at the bottom that you can't see it. All right, so see right here, the 47 and the 42 stripe. Right there. And the month is five month, 21 day. And it's um they buy 10,000 which and 30,000. And those are calls. Those are cars, yeah. Yeah, those are cars, yeah. 160, 147, and 142. 142 strike price? One, yeah, 142 strike. And the price they bought it for was 61 cents. Yeah, you know, like all the option contracts I have are $5 increments for, for Walmart. Okay. So, so, they, so they got something. <laughs> yeah, and they bought that at 320, uh, almost 330 Friday. Wow. Yeah, so just that this is how it how it looks, you know. You can um you can you can see the options where the money is pouring in right there. You can see the date, you can see the time when they buy it, what strike they bought, the call. And they show you where it's trading at that time. And right here, show you how much they pay for it. And over here, show you the volatility. Hmm. Over on this side right here, show you the volatility. Right here, show you how much you pay for it. I, I mean, no, the I'm amount that they bought. The yeah, amount the that they bought. Yeah, the value. OK. Um, you seeing it, it clearly? No, yeah, I definitely see it clearly. Okay. Um, just seeing what else, like, uh, what about, because I know since Walmart and Target, and Target has surpassed Walmart um, efficiently, you know, so much. So what about Target, TGT, I think that's their ticker. Uh, TG? Yeah, TGT. They have earnings coming okay. up as well. Okay. Uh, All right, so. It's trading at 111, 211, 09. Mm -hmm. And see, um, they bought the 270, 207 puts. Also, they're expecting this to go up. Yes. That's it. So they bought the 207, 207.5 puts for 100, 100 and, 
and and sixteen thousand. They're expecting it out of you said they're expecting it to go up, but they bought the yeah put. because see they so they calls right there. You see them it was only oh, one okay. Put. One put more calls, yeah, right? And more calls right there. Yeah, I expect Target to go higher too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I really and, do. And it's, it's, and it's for a short time. It, it, why would somebody spend one hundred sixteen thousand for puts for just a short time? Is it at a lower price? See, see. Well, you know. You, but what was the put? Time. What was the put strike? Two two oh seven. Two oh seven. Yeah. Not two oh seven five. Yeah, two oh seven point five. Two oh seven point five. Why would they and, buy that? And all of that for for the for the fifth month, twenty eight day. That's that is May twenty eight. Uh, oh, not, they bought the not, weekly. Not, not May twenty eight, yeah. Really. They bought the weekly, May twenty eight weekly. Yeah. And um. All of these, if you notice, all of these expiration date is right at um is for next week. So this is a short term trade, as you can see. And let's target, and they show you the price that they pay for it right here. Yeah, Target, uh, I believe it does have a lot of upside. Now, finding that advantage with the um, with the calls or the puts is where it's at. I don't believe it's going to go down. Um, yeah, I do believe it has a lot of upside. Well, well, as as I was saying with Western Digital, I saw yeah. I saw a whole lot of money pouring for pouring in it, and I bought the spread in it, so I make a little money from it. And it went up when I bought it. It went up almost about about six to seven hundred dollars to seven dollars within the two days well it's definitely trading within that uh that range yeah the range between sixty four dollars roughly and about seventy three dollars roughly mm -hmm. so a nine dollar range that is trading at um once it breaks that range then it could definitely go higher that's western digital okay um but you were saying that someone bought the wish call for Western Digital? Um, I don't, let me see if I can find it. I write, um, it, uh, I write it down somewhere there. I don't know if you can find it. I wrote it down somewhere last week. But I, I, it, it has gone up about $7 since. So, but if the call was in there, what, what, what is trading for now? What's the price is trading for? Is Western Digital is trading at seventy one dollars and eighty seven cents. Well, uh, that's where it closed. That's maybe where it closed I, at. maybe I think they caught they, they bought somewhere in the eighties. The call they somewhere maybe. in the eighties. You say it was the puts, right? The puts. No, in the, the call. Western Digital. Western Digital is the call. Let me find it again on this. I don't know if they sold out some because it went up, but um, maybe this was for Friday that passed already. So this was this was just for Friday. Okay, so see the eighty call right here. They bought the eighty call right there. Two fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. Three three fifty nine. Saw that. Uh, three, yeah, three fifty nine. Uh, three fifty nine. So, so this is when these guys slip in and slip in, but they don't. They don't let you see them in the day. So that is why in the morning you find that these stocks go up. See, three fifty nine, and it was trading at seventy one ninety five. They bought the eighty call. They only pay fifty cents for it, and it's yeah. fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. So that means they're in for like. Waiting for about four or five cents for the yeah, but move. look at look at this right there. Look at this coming down. Do you, you realize they don't see one put right here? Yeah, there's a lot of calls. Okay, okay. And so, so the amount they pay they pay up right here. See it? Well, there's a lot of puts too. Those purple are puts, right? 
No, a call. All of these are calls. See there, see right here. Oh, okay. Then what does the all... purple mean? No, this is just a different category. Um, let me see. Um, something to show you. It's about um. Um, I, I would have to get into it to explain that, but they 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 have different reasons why they have the colors there. Got you. They have a dif different reasons why they have the color there. I wasn't but sure if it was like in the money or something like that. Um, okay, so we'll show you in the money here, above yeah. above above the axe. A A. Above ass, that's what it above means. Above ass, yeah. A A mean above ass. Mm -hmm. A A above ass. So if they were asking seventy one seventy nine, they pay more more for it. Mm. So this A A mean above ass, right here. See there. And even up here, they buy it, they bought it above ass. Because somebody wanted to get in with one thirty six thousand. See. That means they really wanted it. Yeah, they really want it. So they, they're just going and you know, these are institutions, right? Because a regular person no, not gonna spend so much money for that. So that's how it is. But I don't know what is gonna happen, but a lot of money has been pouring into this stuff right here. WD, WDC. Uh definitely gonna be watching it. That's for sure. So all right, all right. I'm, I'm adding it to the list. Well. So we're going to add it to two lists. The one that we have for our Sunday talks where we bring up the socks and um, my above 200 SMA list. So, um, this is for, um, what was it, BMC? Well, BMC I do have up um, as a low flow stock, I think. BMC. Oh, okay. Um, let's move, uh, was it? No, no, not BMC. BMA, uh, BMA as a low flow stock. This is Western Digital, WDC. Yeah, WDC. Yeah. So when we see, when, when they say, when you see like that now, you observe what is going on on your chart because whenever you see the money coming, you can see the movements right on the chart, right, right at that point. That's so why I show you at what stride they bought it and at what price. Mm -hmm. right. right away, you will see the movements, movements on that stock. The, the, the next one I, that I saw, so you know this one, this little one, NVIS. NVIS. NVIS, one of those hot pepper stuff there. The Reddit. N Reddit N P brand. is in Peter. NVIS. NV. Michael Vision. Yeah. 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 So this one was another one I wanted to actually do some puts on when it was coming back down. Or micro vision, uh, yeah, because it was too high, it was and it was overbought. It was like it only made sense. Like, um, Angie, right. remember we talked about like you know, once it makes that move and the next day it's red, this is the day when you start looking at um, getting in, getting in on the downside, mm -hmm. on the downside because the full red now means it's a strong red candlestick. But it's coming after two, after a day's worth of power moves, like one, two, three, four, four days. Mm -hmm. you know, typically, four days of upside is going to lead to um, at least two days of downside. I did three days here, um, and then to the eventual fourth. But it's still like Friday. It kind of is holding. If this was, you know, Friday wasn't a good market day like this is what i was anticipating with neo i was anticipating neo to pull back on friday and it didn't so i just had to like just watch it go up essentially um because it's doing the same thing as mvis right you see on this day was two on this day was thursday and go off the previous red day or green well previous green day um so, and it's trading below the 200 SMA. You probably can't see the red line here. This red line is the 200 SMA. And then I have these red lines for support and resistance. So I was like, oh, it broke through support. So it should go down lower, but it didn't because Friday was a really 
good day, recovery day. So with MVIS, mm -hmm. I was just, I would expect it to have done the same thing, engulfing everything. But Friday was a really good day. It held support. Um, you know, even though you know the TTM squeeze was saying that it was supposed to go down, mm -hmm. but um, it looked like it might reverse um, based off of what happened on Friday. Yeah, it's gonna turn. And so, one thing I want to ask you to do just just look at the 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 thirty five strike for August twenty first for microvision. Yeah, tell me what you see. The thirty five strike for August twenty first. For August, if you see anything unusual there. 35 strikes, sheesh. Well, one is cheap as all hell. <laughs> That's always a good one. <laughs> what um, about the money? Is there any unusual buying there? For the August 20th, uh, I see a volume of 57 and an open interest of 5,600 plus. Mm. Um, I wouldn't consider that unusual. It's is it bigger than the rest of the rest of, um the other strikes? It is bigger than the fourteen dollars um, strike on the call side. Yeah, because you're, you're saying call right, so on the yeah. call side. Um, the twenty dollars strike is two hundred and sixty eight in volume, but so it's big. It's bigger than the thirty five. It's bigger than the thirty five. Okay, so what about the put side? You see anything unusual over there? On the put side. For the same strike? No. I don't see any volume for the put side at all. Okay, um, so. Except for 19, 19 strike put. Uh, uh, <laughs> because the reason why I'm saying that, I noticed, I remember, I saw a whole lot of money came in on that 35 <laughs> call. So I don't know if they if they put if they sell out or what, but a lot of money came in under 35 call hmm. for August there. But what I did, I bought a spread. I bought a spread like from 25 to 35. Got it. I bought the 35, sell the 25, sell the 35. They only cost me like 80 cents. I'm willing to risk that because I don't know what might happen. Because I remember this stock went up to $28 recently. Right. Yeah. So a lot of money came in. I don't know what happened, but it came in right at the 35 strike. Well, this is, yeah, that one is kind of weird. Well, not weird, but it's because I'm so used to having the volume more than that. Yeah. But as you mentioned, it did spike recently and i do like recent spikers um yeah, it's it, it, it's one of those that have this a special this special thing that a lot of company need for motor vehicle and the, oh, um, right at the um what is it photo electric yeah yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, not a fiber optic but like it's it's photo like it's photo electric so it's it's like using your vision to command uh, action. It's like right. LEDs. Yeah. LEDs did the same thing. Uh, it had a movement. I actually I bought in um, before the market closed. But it, it there's a lot of companies that do this where it has um, some type of some type of uh, LED like um, like microvision. It has some type yeah. of optic. It has some type of um, you know, electro something that's trying to control whatever the uh, equipment is. Yeah. Uh, LEDs, that's more for aerospace, even though they do some stuff with cars, but it's more for aerospace and defense. Mm -hmm. um, so microvision I'm, is, is around those same, same lines too. Uh, um, so, so I will be. Do I have, I'm gonna make sure it's in the list over here, MVIS. Yeah. 
it, what what they, they 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 put themselves out for sale, so maybe that's what the person's betting on. Oh, microvision's up for sale yeah. now. Yes, they put this. Uh, I think they do. I think that they said that came out on the last earnings or something. Oh wow! They they they're gonna try to perfect their whatever they are building, but at the end of the day, if somebody comes in and want to buy them, mm -hmm. I think they're available for sale. So I'm guessing that that's the reason why. Because I noticed that there's a forty-eight thousand for the six month the fourth day. As you can see right here, six yeah. months before the day, came in at 3.30 Friday for the 25 call. For the 25 call, and it's um, 40,000. And this was for, 20, for microvision. Was, was that the same um, August? No, this is for... Um, um, June. June or oh, June 18th. Yeah, June 8th. June, yeah. Six month zero four twenty-one um twenty twenty one and it's the twenty-five. Oh zero four. Oh the yeah. June fourth. The weekly. Yeah, yeah. and they, and about um about um forty eight thousand. On the weekly? It's the, the day they said the expiration date is the six months, fourth day, 21. And what was the strike? 25. Yeah, I, I do see very large volume. Right there. Yeah, 1300. Okay. Um, yeah, for the open interest only 11. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot going on. Yeah, so, so that, 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 that's a big buy there. Maybe that's one person. Just buy that amount, you know, or just, you know. Buy that, just yeah, that is one person. Yeah. So that's <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And see, you have another one right here. Even somebody put, somebody put above right here, they bought above ask price right here for um, the 1950 for next week. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what might be going on there. And it's only just 30, it was a 30 cents. Uh, what what was the strike? Um, what was the what was the contract on this one? Nineteen. Nineteen dollars. Oh, for the same June fourth. No, for for next weekend. For weekend. For which coming, one? Sorry, for weekend. For weekend. This weekend. About thirty thousand. Was it the weekly or just uh, the regular yeah, this, one? This is the week. Still going to be the weekly for me. Bought it Friday at 12, 12 a.m. It's like, okay, hold on, no, the weekly, is, oh, it doesn't matter, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, uh, this weekend. And you said it was a, which call? I'm sorry. 19, 1950. 19.5? Yeah, they paid 30 cents for it and they bought it above um, ask, as you can see. Yeah, the ask is 25 cents. Yeah. There's, there's no case. open interest and it said the volume was 1554. Yeah, they came in, they came in, they just bought 30,000 right there. Hmm. So Mavis is definitely going to be one to watch now. Yes, yeah, so it's something to keep on your radar. Really wasn't even thinking about it. <laughs> so you no, can maybe, it's possible you can just wake up one day and hear that Google about it, Tesla about it, Apple, any one of those car companies. Mm -hmm. Just buy it in the meantime. So that's it. If you need any more information on this, then I want to take up all of your time. No, you're not taking up all the time. No, no, you're not. I'm uh, just listening and, you know, learning. Okay. You know, always taking notes. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. So, so make, make sure you write down these strikes and you observe them. Um, you observe them. So this one is, as you can see right here. Okay. Um, all option right there, see? Click on mm -hmm. this right there. So this show me everything that is going on. So it, it, it show me 
those where, where the buying is going on right there and so on so so whenever i see something that i can afford or something that i might be interested in i just like like what Qualcomm right here i just pick it and it showed me just Qualcomm alone oh oh look at this look at this right here wow look at that right here somebody bought the 110 but it, it's, it's above that now so they bought it for this what, weekend 1. what was the volume million. i mean not the, what was the value was that millions 1.7 million and they bought the um, 110 which one did they buy Qualcomm but I, oh, think no, it's no, no, no. but I think it's above the price. It's above that price now. So I think they bought it at it was at one thirty one. But somebody still bought it here. Yeah. yeah, Qualcomm is at support right now at one twenty four. Yeah. Well, it bounced off of support at one twenty four. And see what happened here. See them on the call in it right here. See them. Oh wow! They're yeah, a peer call, call by. It. It's a pure call buying. <laughs> yeah, there's only one. There's only one. One put here for one fifty, and that is for January. That is for January two thousand and twenty twenty two. Almost yeah. everything here is um is um called. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, mm -hmm. uh, activity happening with Qualcomm, at least in the volume. Um, that's the one thing I recognize like the day before, if you do the research and you're looking at um, the volume versus the open interest, mm -hmm. obviously that changes when the, the market opens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when the market opens, the volume could probably not be the same. Yeah. I mean, just kind of just waiting for someone to buy a contract. Right. Um, that part I've, I've been caught in a couple of times. Um, even though, like, you know, with something with Qualcomm, yeah, there's always, there should be volume with that one. Always, I believe. Uh, especially with those prices. Those prices are really good okay. um, on the contracts. But, um hmm. I'll be watching this just because it's holding support and because it does a lot with semiconductors. And I'm anticipating semiconductors to do something uh, this week. Because um, okay. I'm still holding, I am holding a semiconductor company that's a lower float, but it has uh, more upside. Uh, that one is uh, what was it, Z. Mm -hmm. You are. I was also in Jamaica, Jam 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 the African Amazon there. Yeah, you're in yeah. there. I get a little bite on that Friday, but you know what happened? I learned something Thursday. Thursday, I wait, I, when the morning started, everything went up and I am saying, no, oh, I'm happy, I'm happy. And before you know it, everything came back down. So yeah. I say, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Friday morning, when I see everything start to go, up, as I reach a certain point, I, can't, I just take my profit and come out. I'm not gonna watch it go down like what it did Thursday. <laughs> yeah, oh man. Yeah, like, that's the worst thing can happen when you're in the positive yeah, and then you watch yourself come down in the negative. Yeah, I will I've done that a couple of times trying to do the let me hold for long term yeah. strategy. And I don't like that. No, I'm not a big fan of and I'm realizing I, how much more I don't like that strategy of this buying and holding um, yeah. and waiting. Like once I'm in and I know that it's gonna hit a certain target price, then I, I'm out. Yeah, I've, I've lost, I've lost money. <laughs> doing that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you, you were the one who bought the Pfizer? No, it wasn't me. Mm -mm. Okay, okay. I bought the Moderna. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, so this was the one that I was in and I came out on Friday. I made sure I came out of it. I also had a put spread on Twitter and I came out. The, the, EM, the EMKR? EMKR. Or Pfizer? No, I, bought, I bought EMKR. He bought uh, Jamia. Jamia. This is one, JMIA. So I came out of it. I came out of it. I didn't, I didn't, 
because the market went so, so stretched on Friday, I didn't want to leave much for Super Monday because I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> right. I figured that they might have a pullback Monday and I'm going to cry looking and looking at all my thing going down. Mm -hmm. And it's Again. below the 200 SMA now. So like, yeah. Um, only unless it's, you know, it could bounce. It could, but, you know, it broke down support, you know, and it did bounce out. Well, it did bounce after earnings. So it could come back to this 29, like $29 area. If it starts retesting 29, then that's a good sign. Yeah. It, right now it's in there. Um, let me see. It's in there. It's in the, the, the market is in there. It's not down much. It's just that I feel sent. But I don't want to trust, you know, when this is what happened. Whenever you get your profit, please take it. Please take it. If you if you buy an option and you go over hundred dollars, our dollar, sorry. I'll, I'm a Jamaican, so I, I, I know that you kind of used to the hundred dollars. Our that. money don't work. Our money don't work nothing much. So I normally say hundred. When I say hundred, I mean one. Right, right. And, uh, so I realized that when option is a thing that it will set you up. And if you stay there and laugh too much and don't press the button, take it back away. Make you mm -hmm. sad. So take whatever you can get when you go up and watch it come back down. And you're going to feel bad because when I came out of Western Digital on Friday, it went up about 70 cents more. But I was quite fine. When I came out of Jamia, it went up about 50 cents more. But, you know, I, I just went and have a drink of water. <laughs> no pain, no mind. Because you know what? I, I, I took my profit and that was made me very happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sometimes you can't be too... It's not, a, it's not a matter of greedy. You want to make some more, but sometimes in trying to make more, you end up lose everything that you gain and more. Mm -hmm. Because all it takes is for something to happen suddenly, and it's and it's and it's gone. MP drop, everybody gonna follow it. Or the Nasdaq, because all the way up, I was watching the TNX. Remember that one, the TNX that we tell that you must watch. Yeah. The ten here, ten here. Yeah, yeah. And whenever you see that getting the green, it is time to it's start running. Trouble. Yeah, yeah, some trouble. It, it, it sent in some trouble. It got to what one um one point six seven uh on Friday. Yeah. And I think it like pulled back a little bit to like one one point six five. On but, Thursday, on, th on Thursday. I think it's on Thursday. On Thursday, no, right. Yeah. yeah. It was so, way up on Thursday. Way up. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that, whenever it's, that, was, whenever it's, that one is a difficult one. Yeah, whenever you see it go up, you can put a put on the on the QQQ. I saw to take a deep dive at the Nasdaq. Yeah, I will, that's that's one index I'm gonna continue um, practicing to see its uh its price movements because I'll do it on on demand, and when on when I'm on the on demand section, you mm -hmm. get to see like okay, this is how it trades like. It trades really fast or it trades really slow, um, right? Or it's really choppy, right? You still get to describe its behavior. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's, a, that's the thing that I'm going to do in all of my notes is continuing to describe the behavior mm -hmm. uh, from this past movement before getting in on the stock. Um, okay. Because that's what I was doing with uh, NM and uh plby really yeah that's a, that's a, that's a good one there plby yeah we call it playboy, playboy. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that one has been my favorite that's yeah man, yeah that guy yeah. worked very well yeah. you can make right. you can make you can make your weekly salary from it right <laughs> It's, it's doing me better than VUZI now. So like, and I was loving me some boozy. Um, yeah, because because of I, you, I bought because of your love for it, I bought it, bought into it this week and let me down. So um, I came out 
and I bought some on the other account. I bought um, some shares on the other account. I catch it back at 14 something. And it went up a little bit, went up about 70 cents and came back down. But that's good. I can wait a little more. Who, Vuzi? Vuzi, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, VUZI is a really good one. Yeah. Uh, it's just like, a tech problem. Yeah, it's a tech. Yeah, that's, a, that's the thing. It's a, yeah, as soon as they, they whenever they, they, they TNX go down, you can buy it. Yeah, I'll wait. Slide this too hot, so I have to turn it off. I'll wait on that one. But at least Jumia has some good pricing here. So um, I'll keep that on watch because I think that. Um, Anytime the market, any, any day the market is going up, you can buy that because Jumia, Jumia is the African Amazon. Right. I it's remember. Like that. You have the Chinese Alibaba. Yeah. Jumia is the African Amazon. And I like yeah. the fact that it goes like three or four dollars on the day as far as right. trading is concerned. Right. Like it will trade like a, a nice spread amount so that you can capture some returns. Right. Like let's say, you know, Jumia somehow goes from we have the $33 area as resistance. Um, and it's at $25 right now. Mm -hmm. You know, after earnings, who's who's to say that it doesn't go to thirty dollars, right? Um, yeah. Maybe it pulls back once it hits thirty or twenty nine, twenty nine five, um, or even at twenty seven eighty, uh, it'll hit resistance there. But that's still like two dollars of upside. It, it's uh, hard yeah. for me to see it going down because of um, the pandemic and now people with shopping online things like that. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to see it not go, going down. True. Yeah. And and Rwanda has a basketball league mm -hmm. now. Um, uh, so they started their first games today. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Yeah, so I don't know how that's going to affect Jumia altogether. But if people are buying, you know, African jerseys online, I would imagine that they would buy it from Jumia. Of course. So they're gonna cause a lot more traffic. So so we see. Um, oh, when is the earnings again? For Jumia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they had earnings uh, last week. They okay. did. Yeah, uh, they had it on the eleventh. So they they beat earnings then. Mm, I'm not. They, what's the? It's not saying what. Well, They're only I'm saying sure. the estimate right now. Oh, I think they okay. the estimate was 45 cents. It doesn't say what their what their actual okay, so they say um earnings transcript. Yeah, it was negative 45 cents. Negative 45 cents. Okay. So let me see. Oh, and then the CEO is supposed to be on Bazinga's pre-market prep show <laughs> on Wednesday. So, you know, that could be anything. That could be okay, anything. Okay, that's, that's about 9, 9 a.m. On, on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, and they reported a loss during, yeah, during the, um, during the call. They reported a loss, said they have a reven revenue of 27 million. Um, and why Centron's research says Jamia could be a buyout target. So, so yeah, apparently um, someone's targeting the buy them out. I'm looking on the weekly here and it's like it, it make a little bounce on the 50. That's what you have on yours, on the weekly. You know, that's that's crazy. Like Citron, Citron Research, their first that they were loving uh, Jumia. And as I'm reading their news, mm -hmm. they're saying mm -hmm. that, uh, that the people are going, they're trying to sell it because it was a pain in the ass to set up. I'm talking about Jumia. Like the, it was a pain in the ass to set up the actual platform. So that, so I don't know how much lower it can go, but I'll definitely look at 
the put side of things, mm-hmm. if, especially if trading below the 200 SMA. Um, you know, the minute it starts doing that, that's when I'm like, all right, you know, put side, you know. Um, you made a little bounce, you, know, you made a little bounce up that went through. You saw that? On the day. Yeah, it did a bounce on Friday. It did. Oh. It did. But it still yeah. had some selling to do. But it definitely did some, it did a bounce. Um, and like I say, it could still jump up to, to 29 or above 27 and then pull right back. Just because on the four hour time frame, it's below the 200 SMA price. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but on the one hour time frame, I believe it's close to, let me look again. It's close to the one hour time frame. So since it's close to it, maybe it, it hits it on Monday and then pulls back. But by time, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday come, it might have reached, you know, $29 before pulling back again. Cause that's the that's the part is just looking to see you know where it is in that resistance that 200 sma plays a good support resistance price mm-hmm. so it's like the further we are away from the 200 sma that's the better the support on the downside you know coming all the way down but the higher we are away from the 200 sma um, that becomes resistance, or actually, that's a reverse. The farther we're away from the 200 SMA, uh, as the stock is going up, the 200 SMA becomes support. When the stock is coming down and trading below the 200 SMA, the 200 SMA becomes resistance. So now it's just finding the, you know, where those demand and resistance, demand and supply zones you know once we're able to identify the demand and supply zones which is typically support and resistance then i think we can get better buying opportunities or better prices in the buying opportunities but it's first finding that mm-hmm. and then we can do it Um, uh, I know that we went we went through a couple of the earnings um, mm-hmm. as we were talking, and we were saying which ones was, you know, which one we thought had some type of movement, like Home Depot and Walmart. We're to, we're choosing Target over Walmart. At least I am, and Macy's look like it wants to pass uh or at least try to contest against this resistance above 18 dollars uh, but l brands which you know i think that's the whole victoria's secret line um they also come out with earnings on wednesday so we look at l brands uh retail has been doing pretty well uh and i don't know if it sees anything on the black box that, that equates L-brand. to, yeah. yeah but what's, it's just been what's a gradual the uptrend. Huh? What's the ticker? Oh, LB. LB? Yeah. Yeah, Larry Bryan. Okay. Yeah, so like L-brand. even the options contract, so I have yeah. a price behind it. 77, they bought the 77 strike. Yes, a four here. Wow. Hold on, let me, let me get it up, but you can see it. All right, see it right here? Can you see it? Yeah. So, see the, 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 see the strike that they bought, 77. All of them call. Yeah, 77.5, yeah. Yeah, and it was trading at 68. And they bought 153,000. 63,000, 68,000, 269,000 at the same strike. So you can look every, every match on the seven, seven, 77.50 on the eight, eight month, 20, at September. 
Oh, September. Yeah. September 17th. Yeah, September the, the 20th. 20th of September, maybe. I don't know. 21st. Um, no, August. You mean August, sorry. August, sorry. August, August. You did say 8, and I still went to September. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Oh, yeah, I see that. 77, see that? 5, 1937 volume versus 5,100 um, volume on the 80 strike. So the volume for the 80 strike and the 77, 5 strike are pretty high there um, on Friday. <laughs> So this so, is this looks pretty pretty damn good as far as so, volume is concerned. So it's August, August. So L brand, um, like I say, it's been a gradual uptrend the whole time. Yeah. Oops, how'd I get there? It's been a gradual uptrend. This, you know. After July, it's been trading all the way up, and it looks like it has no stopping. Um, yeah, because um, I'll be brand. They open. They open. They open. This is what it look like right here. You can see the. This is the E Trade platform. You see it? Yeah. See the E Trade platform? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So this right here show you where a lot of volume came in. The volume profile right there. And it's right and what in there. What day are you? Because it's at the uh, left end of the screen. So which which? I'm on the daily. Yeah. I mean the week, the weekly one year weekly. Mm -hmm. So let me go on the daily. Let me look at the weekly. The weekly, we see that it's overbought um, over on the week, but you know, sometimes the weekly it'll be overbought and it just continues to go higher. The four yeah, hour time frame does that's, shows more upside. Yeah, let, let me put the um the 50. And see if we have stuck PME. When when it's stuck like this, um, two hundred. Look, I wouldn't be surprised if L Brands goes negative the day before earnings and then spikes during the earnings call to its next high, which it, well, its previous high, which is $71.20 something cents, really, $71.35 right. cents. So you and see right then, here, it, is, it has, it, it, the AMA, the AMA has stuck. This is a nine, 21, the 50, 200. Everybody is on top of the other, right? In line. And see, the nine came back right on top of the 20 year and it's bouncing off. I see it right there. Yeah. Oh. And so some. That's so a lot some, of red. That's a lot yeah. of red volume. Yeah. Is that a lot of? Is that red volume? No. See, I don't know. See, it's a green right there. See the green right there at the bottom right there. See it right there. I can't see it. Look. Uh, okay, so like tilt down a little bit. Okay. Can you see it right there? Okay. Yeah. 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 So there's. Yeah, so it's a uh, couple of days it has some red, um, the two then strong some, green candlestick. Yeah. And then I can't see the, Mon the right end. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, and then the and Friday. Then, yeah, whatever. You see it now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. See, and see right up here, it have a candle, the green candle right there, up above right there. Yeah. Make it a little bigger. So I saw the I saw the e trade. What's the red shading behind the candlestick? Yeah, I'm good. 
right here? This, which one? This? Yeah, well, this one? Yeah, yeah, move the camera back down again. Just right get, here? Yeah, that shade, the shade. No, you, you're moving back up. It was right behind the candlesticks. Yeah, all that red shading. Right here? Yeah. The volume profile. Okay, that's it's what I was so saying. I thought of, it looked like red, like selling, but it was just no, it was just no, volume. No, no, it show you where a lot of volume comes in. Gotcha. It's, this show you see a lot of volume. See how long it is right here? Yeah. So if we go back to the weekly, see, see right here when it went up right here, see right there? Yeah. When you come down and touch and start to go up, if you notice how long this is right here. So long this one come right out here. So I'll show you right here, that's where the bias came in. Yeah, it held support and then broke. Uh, yeah. When, yeah, broke resistance. The yeah, so you see, show you right at this spot here is where the bias came in and they continue to buy and you go right up until it, the bias kind of fade out a little bit. And then they start to come back in right here. All right, well, L brands look like it's going to be one of those to uh, to watch as retail is doing well with Target. Um, I think those will do pretty damn well. They, they should at least. Procter and Gamble did exactly what I thought it would do. So I still think that's a buy. I think I called that two weeks ago. Um, that's, that's PG. PG. It's waiting to break out. Um, 155 call, 84,000. That is, that is on for 2000, first month, 21 day to 22. At the end of the year. Um, and you said which call was that? 155. January or January 22. 21st day. No. <laughs> you saw it? Yeah, for 135? Or you said no, 155. 155. Yes. 84,000. 80. 900. Mm -hmm. That, that, um, that $84,900 worth. That's the, that's the price they pay for it. They pay. Uh, one, one, 45 or 155? 155. For, oh, that's June. Ah, oh, no wonder. Uh. January, yeah. January yeah. 155. Right. Okay, I can see that. Mm -hmm. I can see that now. That makes sense. Wow. You know, it's uh, it's crazy how you have that background information, so you can be able to see what's going on mm -hmm. uh, months ahead. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, you can see that months ahead. And I think uh, you're making me even think about when I'm looking at my option contracts. Even though I look at you know the next, like I'm gonna be looking at June coming up. I'm not gonna be looking at May contracts past uh, past Wednesday. So like when I'm even looking at June, you're making me think to look at July and August, September, like to kind of look uh, at least at the volume. Uh, volume and open interest to see if there's any uh, unusual unusual activity there, you know, because uh, that that's very helpful. That that part you're you know making me think another layer, um, so that we can all get better, and I like that. So thank you for that one. You're welcome. Sure. Uh, where's this? Let's highlight you, and then where's my where's the PG again? 
Pfizer. Oh, this was the. This is the um, semiconductor stock that I was talking about before. They had some um, not read that. What was it? Mix a shelf offering. So I'm expecting. Anytime I see a shelf offering, I always think that they're going to sell off some shares. Um, but they're trying to raise the capital first. So if this. I anticipating breaking eight and then pulling back down. I have um, shares in this company and I want to buy the options uh, just for a day trade, particularly if it does break $8. I was gonna buy the $7.50 calls on Friday, but I chose against it. Um, I guess because I just didn't wanna force anything um but i could see it doing something um there's not a lot of volume behind it but as far as the contract or as far as the stock price is concerned and the setup there's there's something there's something as far as upside is concerned um if it doesn't break this eight dollars and it gets smacked right back down like kind of like what it did over here which i don't expect it to do I don't expect it to get smacked back down. But if it does do something like this, best believe I'll be out before we can even touch the five EMA. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, I have shares at $7 and 30 cents uh, on my uh, E-Trade account. Okay. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this one goes. Um, and like I said, I didn't really trade this past week at all. Like. It was more of education and watching the market. That's what I learned most of anything. Well, that's very good. Yeah, I, I was like, I have to, um, you know, as much as everything moves, doesn't mean I have to be in it. And doesn't mean I have to trade the put or the call. I can just watch and see if this sell in May and go away adage really means anything. I don't like to buy put when I buy it every now and then, but I don't like to buy put. That's my problem. Like I, I maybe I need to love put a little more. Yeah, only on this, a, only on this pie. Mostly. No, you're right because um, a lot of the spy movements, like especially if it's going down, it moves in the favor. Yeah, it moves fast. Like, and it does it quick. Yeah, like, it does yeah. it real quick. It does it real quick. Like, real, real quick. So, um, so, like, this is the spy. And I can see it, like, still trying to pull back. <laughs> um, like, I'm not 100% confident in the markets. Um, this this month. Hi, hello, hello, hi. Uh, um, I'm gonna have to go. My my kid is here. <laughs> hey, kid. <laughs> hi. hi. <laughs> she said hello. Hi, <laughs> she said hi. Hopefully, hey. I, you know. By the way, just a sidebar. I like signed up to this four week finance class that she's never she has no clue about finance besides what i teach her yes. so you know there's stuff for kids at her age which is great <laughs> good of course we need, we need to break this advantage. we need to break this cycle we need to break the cycle yes so the, the earlier the better the earlier yeah. the better yeah thank you guys so much for your time you're and jermaine you're welcome. i'll see oh, i'll speak to you guys all tomorrow <laughs> okay absolutely have Bye. a good night. Bye, kid. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say I was going to go for like another two or five more minutes, uh, two fits, just so that um, could prepare as well. 
uh, for some of these restaurants I have to inspect this week. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. So if you um, want us to cut it out now, for now, hopefully. Yeah, we, all right, I guess we can call it for, we can call it a day for now. I do yeah. want to highlight how Cotty did. Cotty did do pretty well. It was mm -hmm. holding, it was holding, um, and then they came out with earnings. Uh, and as we all know, earnings, this gives a chance for people to buy back in. So yeah. right around, I didn't buy any yet, but it's holding this $8.30 area. And I feel that it does have some upside because it's retail. So that's another retail name that um, has potential, has upside potential. So I will be watching that uh, coming up this week to see if I could buy, if not some shares, um, maybe um, maybe a contract. But I do okay. see it going up. I don't really see any option on it though. So COTY, right? Yeah, COTY. I don't really see any option. On it. But if, option what, what I will do, if, if in the week I see any unusual thing, I'll, I'll just text you guys. Okay. Just text you and let them know you can maybe pass it on for others to take a look. Okay. I definitely will. Uh, STIM didn't do as well as I thought it was going to do. And that was because I failed to look at the four hour chart. The four hour time frame showed that uh, there was a lot of resistance at $14. Okay. Um, so it just it just kept on getting smacked back down. Okay. Um, so hopefully in the future, uh, when that four hour time frame comes back, a uh, four hour 200 SMA comes back down, uh, it will start trading above and break up, break out. So I'll be, I'll still be looking at STIM, yeah. but it just didn't do, that was the last one I alerted to you. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I, I was, you know, I was like, nope. And that's when I said, okay, I'm on not trade. And that's what I did this past week, so. Yeah. Well, um, uh, I took a day off on Thursday. It was a little painful. After the after I didn't take my profit on Thursday morning and um, take back everything and some, mm -hmm. and then so Friday I just make sure that I took whatever I could get and that's it. I just I leave a few little ones for tomorrow. Otherwise, some of those long term ones. Right. Yeah. So I can deal with that. If I can deal with the past week, I can deal with whatever they whatever they give, they give my, uh, whatever happened next. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right. I know this week will be a good week. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. So far, it's steady. It's steady. You know, just not really moving up nor down. So, hopefully, everything will be fine. Exactly. All right. Enjoy your night, and we'll yeah, talk in too. the week. Definitely, and uh, hopefully, yeah. I'll get to see you. As I get, I'll get to see you when I come through. Because like, I. Okay. I, I I didn't catch you the a uh, couple of times. I, I I was, you know, getting some uh, some of the patties, and I was like, gosh, oh, and I didn't see. So I was like, all right. <laughs> go yes, back. I'm I'm also there in the evening, like yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday morning. All right, may well. Yeah, Tuesday you'll probably see me around there now. Yeah, man. All right. You have a good all night right, now. Man. Hey, good night. Have a good night. Have a great week. Yeah, man. The same to you too. Thanks. All right.